I just ate a piece of orange. I'm gonna eat a grape now. Mmm, crunchy. Mm -mm. Hang on, let me enable the extension. Do you guys see the extension? I'm gonna update chat. Good night, Luna. Mold from your wit disc pad? Probably. Hang on, I'm doing that thing where like streamers give you self care by saying like don't worry about eating on stream and like take your time and don't rush for anything. I'm trying to look after myself. I'm trying not to eat a meal in two and a half minutes because I'm live. You guys don't mind though, right? You do that offline? I did eat a curry last night in two and a half minutes. I timed it. Content created. Sorry. Sorry. Time Whopper! Same with a day too! 29 months! Content Almost created. a whole year! I know right! What the hell? Thank you! And because it's a tier 2? Meow! And Tugboat! Thank you for the 9 months! Hello! Okay! Guys! Should we start a new game or should we continue? And it will have references to the previous campaign we did. I think we should continue, right? And we have King Marcus from the Bog Drops Dynasty. Guys, type expression with join and then your pronouns. Holy, it's filling up. Holy. I hate to break it to you guys, if you're on the green team, you're a capitalist. And if you're on the purple team, I don't remember, I think you're like a vampire or some shit. And if you're on the yellow team, you just got dealt a bad hand, I'm sorry. If you didn't get in, you can join at any point throughout the game. Okay, I'm gonna eat the apple fast so I can play the game and talk. Hang on, I'm gonna mute and go crazy. So the people that won last time were the British, Br Puerto Rican? What does it say? Patrician, Pat Patrian, the Pelicans. <clears throat> Pat Pelicans. The Pelicans won 
Ariana Grande lost the war and the counts kind of got snubbed because they were on the king's side the entire time and then they got owned by the the patron the, the pelicans right at the end okay your majesty you may have won the throne bump king bugle but you still must answer to the council as is tradition they will decide what happens at your coronation what but it's my coronation wait i'm gonna say should i get changed into waterproof robes because literally last time he goes threw me into the fucking river dude shall we call the nobles in okay okay what should okay what kind of coronation should be held the pelicans will smooth over any bad feelings with bribes invite foreign degenerates and show off our wealth throw the king into the river or outdated traditions there's no need for a coronation at all i'm starting vote i'm not even putting putting my play into any of this i should have put my play into one of this okay you guys are just gonna throw me into the river anyway Thank God. Thank God. Guys, if Content you voted, created. if you voted B, I would have lost $1,800 and I only have $2,200. Y'all fumbled. You could have made me broke as hell. Yo, just the guy talking. They were the 23 months. Uh, should I put on my waterproof robes? Of course. Join me. Join me in being thrown into, into the river. It is decided the king will be thrown in the river. I'm the king, by the way. And so it begins. The nobles pick you up and carry you out to the Treadwater River, hurling you into the shallow water with a chair. When you climb back up the bank, soaking wet, the chancel couch steps forward and places the crown upon your head. Is it your imagination or is some of the nobles giggling? They're giggling. They're pointing and laughing at me. Your Majesty King Bugle was the Pelican's dancing little puppet. You don't plan on following in his footsteps, did you? Nobody tells me what to do. I'd rather not drown in milk. You don't have to, not if you follow my advice. The Pelicans own the roads. They own the bridges. They're charging my soldiers to march. They have too much power. We need to take back what's ours. What's yours? How can the king wrest back control of the kingdom? Seize it by force? Change the law to make monopolies illegal or buy everything back. Oh my god, wait. Um. Uh, okay, you guys want to fuck me over? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to veto that one. I'm playing this game meta Andy now, dude. I'm not letting you guys make me poor. And you guys want to make monopolies illegal anyway. It's based. It's based. You guys are based and awesome. Dude, this is a big uh, day for Chibli streams where chat has to vote on things, right? What the hell? I just realized that. B1. Monopolies are now illegal. DEMOCRACY! You go through the proper channels in the council or... What the fuck? Why? What is the fuck is a ratifies, bro? The new law. No more monop monopolies. Ownership of the kingdom is fragmented across all nobles. With a tiny portion going back to the crown. Of course, that means you still not- You still no longer own as much land as the king should. I'm the king. I should own everything. Praise the ninth. It's good to see some balance returning to the kingdom. Ariana Grande Spring Luna. Hello. Okay, we have one more thing. The path to victory. Your Majesty, the history books do not look kindly upon... Man, I need to go to fucking high school. The fuck is a usurpers? Unless, of course, they prove themselves worthy of the throne they have stolen. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Um... What should we go for this time? 
I think farming. A uh, farming. I want to be farming Andy. Are you concerned for the welfare of the commoners, or are you just hoping for a favorable passage in the history books? I just care for the commoners, man. I suggest over the next few years you focus on improving the kingdom's overall farming as much as possible. Once you have a hair, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. Wait, can I make my bastard child president again? Marcus of the Time Warper 3000 family. Legendary coastal political fixes. Scribbles with a well-used quill on a hardwood desk. Explaining in a measured pow, pro, pause. Follow Pelicans of the Coast. I have it on good authority that King Marcus plans to betray us. Crown me and I'll keep my promises. Crown promise. What scheme should the Pelicans pursue to overthrow the new king? This is for the uh, green team to vote. Do you guys want a lower stability, lower treasury, or lower authority? Expression point vote and then space C or B or A. Also, there is a gamba. There is a gamba on who's going to win the overall entire game. I don't know what team I'm on. If you have the extension, it should show you, but also I can check. Uh, you're on purple lockpick you're on purple okay you guys want to lower my authority okay the pelicans plan to turn the throne into a commodity that can be brought and sold at will first they must ensure that the rule of law is crumbling to advance this scheme, the Pelicans must lower authority to four or less in three seasons. Well, they're already fucking got- Dude, I'm at three already. That's fine, I got three seasons to bring it back. Sophia of the Umbreon 117 lineage, legendary southern vint vintner, stands bathed in sunshine, droning on as in a daze. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. Ariana Grande of the South, this is a stain on our honor. We must not allow it to go unanswered. Okay, yellow team, this is for you to vote on. Do you want to lower my defiance, uh, raise your own farming, or lower my stability? I feel like there is... Yeah, B is so OP, bro. He's OP because that's what I want to do. Ow. Ow. And I guess my stability is very strong. 21 votes B. Holy. Yeah, you guys are literally about to be friends of the state. Okay, you guys have to raise your farming. They must raise their farming to five in four seasons. It's already at six, bro. It's already at fucking six. Are you guys changing your chat color to match what team you're on? That's so funny. Just be careful if you had like a Twitch Turbo or Prime and you changed your color to like a like a color that you can't get normally. If you change it, you can't change it back. I reckon. Pazak of the Hamzy Dynasty, charismatic former hermit. Oh my God, that's me. Leans uh, delicately on a podium, speaking in a, a melodious. My fellow counts, in ancient times, the East was, uh, was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not while the false King Marcus wears the crown. Okay, do you guys want to raise stability, lower your own faith, or lower your own defiance? Dude, I'm King Marcus. What the hell? My name is lame as hell. I want to be goddamn Bugle again. I miss being Bugle. Call me Bugle the way I bug drop. You guys want to raise stability? Oh my god, I guess that is a good choice. Dude, everyone's making such educated decisions this time. Because my stability is at goddamn seven, bro. You guys have to raise... Must raise stability to five or more in four seasons. Well, it's already at seven. Everyone already has their objectives, dude. 
Now I just have to try fuck myself over for the next three seasons so no one wins. I just have to fucking shoot myself in the foot repeatedly. Um. Uh, plus one stability, no. Nobles can choose to vote is hidden. How nobles choose to vote is hidden from the monarch's view. Wait, I love that. That's chaos. King no Marcus one gets to Biffo point and laugh. King Mom, King Mom, King Biffo is back. Hands imagine, thank you for the $300. Thank you. The honor guard, what is this? One evening, you're sitting up in bed reading some paperwork when a filth encrusted peasant, oh, it's me, wanders into your bed chamber as bald as brass. Hello, you match. Glad I finally found you. This, this bloody place is a maze. Mind if I take a seat? Who are you? Name's Rilf. Motherfucker's name is Rilf. Yo, Madge, pleased to meet you. I got some. I got a bloody great idea for you. What if a gangrene could be cured with moldy bread? I haven't tried it yet, but I've got a good feeling. Before Ralph could explain further, your marshal bursts into the bedchamber, sword drawn. Your Majesty, I'm sorry I didn't come sooner. I had no idea where the palace watch. Uh, I have no idea where the palace watch are. Do you want me to kill this intruder? No, I want to hold a vote on his proposal. She goes and gathers, gathers up your council, who trickle into the hall in their pajamas, rubbing sleep from their eyes. They don't look particularly pleased to be woken up. Okay, guys, um, we're gonna. Okay, so this guy thinks that gangrene can be cured with moldy bread? And we're gonna, um,. We're gonna vote somewhere to test it, okay? Do we want to test it in the the east, on the coast, or in the south, or not at all? I'm not even gonna fuck with it. I'm just gonna let you guys go crazy. I'm not even doing this for the stats. I'm doing this for the sake of the concept. I think it's funny. Funny. We're fucking eating moldy bread. We're making the people in the south eat moldy bread. Dude, why is... Dude, even people in the south are voting for it to be in the south. You want to eat moldy bread? You want to eat Chipley's goddamn hot dog bun? You guys know it, like... I like, it's bad to eat mold. That's penicillin? Yeah, but it's moldy bread! <laughs> Injured soldiers eat moldy bread to starve off infection. To everyone's surprise, it works. Okay, never mind, it worked. You guys went up one military. Everyone got a little bit happier. Stability went up, which is bad because purple is just fucking sweeping. Your Majesty, if that peasant had been a maniac with a crossbow, I dread to think what could have happened. Well, he's a genius with a good idea. Uh, Marshal. Grow up. If one thing is clear from this mess, it's that you need an honor guard who can actually keep you safe, not like the pathetic watch. Think carefully, your majesty. These guards' loyalties will be divided between you and their region, of course. You could just hire for foreign mercenaries. Lord Pelican, handsome pantsome. Of course you'll be taking the gladiators, your majesty. None of the other options are half as muscular. Why the fuck is Handsome Pansom here talking to me about muscly gladiators? Tell me more about the Eastern Knights. An order of the Drowned Rose... The order of the Drowned Rose are highly respectable. They'll understand palace etiquette, and it's been four years since they fought an actual battle. They mostly write poems these days. Hash Green Gang. The more you know are knowing what you are knowing and more your brain size and your head size less you need to say to talk in argument with other peoples with smaller brains head shouting. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Tay, hey, they were the 200 bits. Tell me about the Southern Battle Nuns. Terrifying warriors and the sworn of our silence, so at least they won't spill state secrets. Wait, they look fucking wicked. 
But their faith and loyalty is to the church above all, even your safety. Okay, they're terrifying. Tell me about the coastal gladiators. A gang of low-born crooks who turn themselves into celebrities through their skill at chopping other people to bits. They're vain and selfish. Their skill in battle is undeniable, but can you trust them? I've made my decision. The southern nuns, because they look cool. <laughs> they look cool, what the hell? And they don't talk. They're just chilling, man. I will make the arrangements at ah! once. Religious freaks, nerds, or hot muscly men. They, they, they may be religious freaks, but they don't talk, and they will die for me, maybe. I don't know, maybe they'll see me as God. Thank you for the 500 bits. The battle nuns arrive in the palace a few weeks later, they nod to you silently. Their solemn steel mask betray, uh, bet betraying nothing before falling a fill- I lay back and fetch. Lovely heart, copy back. Dude, the south is a new plague. Wait, did the south get the plague? Because it ate multi bread? Your majesty, the south has been struck with a plague. And it's not just any plague, a dancing plague. Oh my god. You're filling my fucking leg. This is no laughing matter, your holiness. It affects everyone, even dogs and cats. We don't know how it started, but it's spreading quickly. Whole villages are dancing themselves half to death. Okay, do we want to quarantine affected villages? Pass a law that forbids dancing? Or let it be? How bad is dancing anyway? Uh, okay. This is bad for gr everyone that's not green. This is bad for everyone that's not purple. This is bad for everyone who's not yellow. This is bad for no one, but it achieves nothing. Anonymous voting. Oh, I thought anonymous voting would be like, you can't see how many votes something has. But it still just shows how many votes it gets, bro. Okay, I kind of wanted this. But getting my stability down also would have been good, because... They only need five, and I'm at nine right now. Oh, wait! The fucking shit won one! Why the fuck did you guys vote for the one that does nothing? Nothing! It does nothing for anyone! No one's achieving anything from that. It's helping no one's objective. Not negative for us? Personally, if I was yellow, I've, I would have teamed up. I would have coordinated an attack on another faction. Your Highness, I'm ruined. Hordlings have occupied my vi vineyard and driven my staff away. The fuck is a hordling? Grubby little creatures. Fat, green babies with claws. Hard to kill. Fire is the only way to get rid of them. Dude, it's Shrek baby dancing. Whatever you do, we should do it soon. They're eating all of my grapes. I will assemble the council. Burn the vineyard with the hordlings inside. Strong arm the other grannies into sending military help or hire an adventurer from the guild to investigate. Um, Monarchs vote burning the vineyard. Look, the Ariana Grande may be in my goddamn faction, but they're farming a little too much, okay? They gotta chill. They gotta, their farms gotta get a little bit worse. They're too strong. It's treason? I'm helping you out. What do you mean? I'm tree. I'm helping. I'm helping. You guys wanted help. I'm helping. I helped you guys out. 
Don't you want big farming? I do want big farming, but I don't want big farming in in the south, I guess. Otherwise, they're just gonna get their winning their win. No, that vineyard is my livelihood. But a hodling infestation is no single person's problem. If they were to spread, they could ruin homes and businesses. The vineyard and half the hillside with it is lit up like a sun. Unfortunately, the summer weather causes the fire to spread, creating a blaze that consumes a few farms in the in process. Holy shit, you guys got owned! Okay, I'll leave you guys alone now. Once Iron Grande's Evans, Evan Ben's wealth goes up in smoke, it's not long before he turned to begging on the streets! No, Evan Ben's is poor! Oh, no more resubs. Okay, you guys get to buy things. Nobles use their personal wealth to bid on buildings. Only the two highest funders will be built. Use command, expression might fund, and then the building you want to uh, buy. So A, B, C, D, or E, and F, and then how much you want to bid. We do have some very rich fucking people in this game. Holy. What does green want to get? Oh, that is good. What is, what are you, oh, okay. Purple is kind of not even playing in this game, bro. There's not a lot of money being thrown around, honestly. Purple has a lot of money and they're not even buying shit. I guess they don't really need to because they're already like kind of outselling their um, objective by a lot. Do you want low or high authority? You want authority to be down. Well. Well, Jesus. I have two authority, dude. I am going to get rebelled against because I'm going to have no authority to hold anyone off. I guess I have stability. The aqueduct in the theater got built. Hang on. Eh. Yeah, if you have the extension, you can check, like, uh, it has, like, all the details. You have, like, uh, I think you have your objective, how much money you've got, a bunch of other shit. Escaped experiment. Apparently, something has escaped from the cellars of a, a black, black out owl's castle. I've asked an eyewitness to report a local. So, uh, eyewitness report from a local. Hello, your majesty. It was right on holy sight. A monster stitched together from parts of a dugout village in the cemetery. I recognize my aunt in this earlobes. An abomination! That is right, your majesty. I damn near piddled in me birches. The creature is my life works, your majesty, and my son. His escape was regrettable. He just wanted to see the village up close. Rest assured, I have uh, chained him up far. I have chained him up far more securely in my dungeon to ensure this won't happen again. It's too late for that. You and your unholy creation must be burned. <laughs> it is the only way to cleanse the world of your evil. Okay, do you guys want to burn the monster? Do you want to burn both Blackout Owl and the monster? Burn the monster. The monster may live as long as it stays imprisoned or free the monster. I'm letting you guys go crazy. This is just chance game at this point. I'm gonna let you do whatever you want and then I'm gonna try to get a wife. I'm gonna lose two games in a row. Oh my god, I'm so excited to cook a stir fry tonight. Oh jeez, can't wait. And rice, oh my god, what am I living the life of god dang luxury, dude? Okay, everyone voted to free the monster. You guys are crazy. Forty nobles voted for it. Your grace, the boy's not ready for freedom. This will end in disaster. The council would free this unholy mon monstrosity and allow its twisted creators to go unpunished? What kind of message does this send? That's true, you can just get away with making demons. 
You're all mad, you'll see. Doom will come to the east. Doom. Um. Oh, wait. Stability challenge succeeded. What does that do? Oh, my God. The so-called abomination turns out to be a gentle fellow with a green thumb and fondness for puppies. Soon enough, he's won over the villagers who allow their children to go on piggyback rides with him. Dude, my stability is a fucking fa a 10. Purple only needs me to have it at five. He spends most of the time in the fields growing flowers and vegetables for the community. Blackout Owl couldn't be more proud. Finding a spouse. Your Majesty, it's important you find a spouse sooner rather than later. I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What is your preference? Men, women, or do you not mind? Um, I'm not interested in love. Are you sure, Your Majesty? The nobles will be most upset. Surely it behooves you to look at some options. I suppose it would do no harm. Oh, want a wife. Thank you, your majesty. I'll send out messages to the most influential noble fam families in the kingdom. <clears throat> it's an easy enough decision. You'll marry into the Pelicans as we agreed before you took the throne, right? Right? Your majesty, the acclaimed Freyrike Chauncey Blinwood. <sighs> Has written another smash we hit. We already know you aren't interested in very sexy and cool muscly men. Handsome, handsome. Take me to $250. Wait, hang on. Chauncey Blinwood has written another smash hit. All the theaters in the capital are showing it nightly. Oh, wonderful. I love Chauncey Blinwood's work. So do I. So does everyone. But the problem is that the new play features a character obviously based on you. Oh my god. I'm just, Again? It's Biffo 2, bro? The character is played by a professional clown named Biffo. Dude, we're getting repeat dialogue already. That's kind of disappointing. Um, I'll attend the theater myself. A shock silence fills in the theater as heralds announce your arrival. You're away from the royal box. Is the uh, the show must go on. The play begins soon. The clown. Uh, Endless simulations are heaped on this honking, squeaking parody. Finally, the show concludes with the custard drenched king handing his crown to the deserving hero. All eyes turn to you. What do you, how do you react? I climb onto stage. Congratulate the actors. Wait, Justin, you like Top Dog now? What changed your mind, Justin? What changed your mind? My chat hates it now. They've all turned against me. Just kidding. I think they love it still. I listened to some of their other songs. Okay. Okay. I enjoyed many of them. Okay. What the hell? Okay, Justin. Dude, my stability is maxed. What the fuck? I literally can't have any higher stability. The whole capital can talk about nothing but your good humor and mercy. Literally maxed. Oh, it's tax season. Hell yeah. Um, I kind... Okay. Well, this doesn't really matter for anything. For me. I could just... I need the money. I need the money, guys. <laughs> I'm poor. Your Majesty, I don't want to alarm you, but I've noticed something very peculiar. The spoons in the castle, they're disappearing. I've noticed that too. It may be a harmless prank, but I have suspicion. Lock up the spoons. Search the castle. Throw away the rest of your spoons out of spite. Much to your household surprise and annoyance, you decide to throw out all your spoons. If you can't have them, you won't give them to, you won't give someone else the satisfaction of stealing them. 
A few weeks go by until the folks go missing instead. The lack of cutlery leaves you eating with your bare hands and cruising the fool uh, and causing the fool that thinks this is funny. Dad, my stability went down! Bro, I'm green. Bro, you're green. What the hell? I have found three potential matches for you. One eligible young woman from each of the kingdom's three regions. Choose wise wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. Yes, I know. Uh, Leads you to the great hall. They've arranged three portraits on, e on each souls for now. One is club. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who I'm going to marry. This is Valentina, the eldest daughter of Eastern Ovid the Music Dynasty. Forgive the snooty expression, I'm sure that's caused by an Iran. She has a laboratory installed in her castle and spends most of her time there conducting bizarre experiments. She went missing a while ago, but it turned out she accidentally locked herself in the cellar, survived on wine for a week. Intriguing. How am I gonna marry the same fucking person twice in the same campaign, bro? From the coast, we have Octavia. The wealthy heir to Lord Pelican Gustav's escape. She wasn't originally, but her eldest daughter had an unfortunate accent. Accent? Accident. <laughs> uh, could be worse, could be a lot better. Sorry, I've already, I've already married you, I'm sorry. I've already married you. I can't marry the same person fucking twice. It's cringe. Finally, from the south, Ada, the eldest daughter of uh, uh, Syrac Syracuse lineage, a quiet and retiring soul, preferring solitude to the company of others. She dislikes city life and spends most of the time out hunting with no one but her horse for company. Oh, horse girl. Unfortunately, she lacks the common touch. The peasants have some terrible nicknames for her. Not bad. What do you think? By picking someone with alliance, you'll make a lifelong... Uh... So I want someone that is a horse girl or someone that drank wine for a week because they locked themselves in a cellar. Uh, I think the solo one is fucking funny, man. We can get locked in a goddamn cellar for a week. I made. Oh, I have made my decision. Uh, Valentina. We're now loyal. Our our alliance is loyal. We're oomphs. Now I'm immediately gonna go to the east and check what this deceased quest is. The elderly account. Oh my god. Can they add names to this game? They're like Ben and Henry and like fucking Jessica and like Jennifer. Like. The elderly Countess. Olanda. It's chance names. Not all of them. Some, some of them are, I think. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't think. Is, is there an Olanda in chat? <laughs> A cousin many times renowned of a count see vegan role model died in her sleep last week. She was nearly 90. Would you believe? Why are you telling me this? She was very wealthy, your majesty, but she could have spent more time on her accounts. She died without the will and the nobles are scrabbling for her estate. Countess <laughs> was my relative. I wrote to her at least once a year. Of course her estate would be mine. My great grandfather used to play back again with her. He swore she intended to leave it to our family. By the blood of the dead, that's a pitiful claim. Do we want to give the estate to vegan role model? To Ariana Grande's scalidity? Redistribute the estate amongst the Eastern peasants or claim the estate for the treasury? Um. Okay. I mean, my vote is going to be the treasury. Oh, the name is just Yolanda. Uh, 
Dang, okay, green wants to make me rich. What the hell? Green's fucking with me, man. They said, here you go. I got you. Uh oh. But you guys gave it some freaking skeletity. Ariana Grande. It's fine. It's a democracy. Wait, how the fuck did they win? Wait. Is yellow the only team voting on shit? <laughs> Two teams couldn't outnumber one team? Yo, I'm, just, I'm glad I hired them as my goddamn mercenaries, bro. Grandy Solidity and the other Grandies are delighted. They even send you and the treasurer a gift basket. Oh, wait, I like them. Oh my god, Solidity has $5,000. Holy. You trust the situation is resolved. Oh my god, thank you for the gift basket. In a, ding, a dingy seaside tavern, two pelicans of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. Good news, my friend. The palace officials have been accepting my bribes. They're becoming more and more open to corruption. What are you getting in return? Not much. A better seat in the council chamber. Access to the king's room when he's out. That sort of thing. Uh, coastal tax collectors will be much more easygoing in future. But the important thing is that king, the king's staff are getting used to selling their principles to the highest bidder. So what's next? Palace staff are one thing, but the true prize would be the loyalty, lo loyalty of the and the rest of the kings in a circle. To do that, we need to demolish the reservoir of the king. If the kingdom is in chaos, they will see the king is an incompetent fool and they will be much more able to our bribes. But once this game, the pelicans must lower the stability for less than three seasons. Oh my god! Well, good luck, fucking green team. You gotta have lower my stability from 10 to 3. Good fucking luck, bozos. You're fucked. It's literally capped out at 10. Bath Royal Wedding! I get to be married! Again, it's so easy. Oh, this is the fifth time I've been married in my life. Your wedding to Valentina is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and presidents alike travel from across the realm to attend. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bernard's Cathedral. Do you take this woman as your lawful, lawfully wedded wife? Yeah. But then I pronounce you king and wife. Thanks, Pope. My stability is still camped. Authority went up though. By the time you find yourself alone with Valentina, it's past midnight and you've never felt more tired. What a wonderful occasion that was. A shame we had to see all those filthy peasants lining the streets on the way to the cathedral. Back in the east, our guards would know how to deal with that rebel. Um. Okay, I've married someone who hates poor people. Uh. Um, well, I hope you're not feeling homesick, I guess. Of Content course not. Created. I never get homesick. Actually, I buy people who waste time dwelling in the past. Yo, so Dolphin, they went to 25 months. Testicles. Uh, tell me something you're passionate about. In my spare time, I tinker with some very complicated science stuff. I won't get into it though, you wouldn't understand half of it. Oh god, I've married an utter twit. Well, I have never been more offended in my life. Valentina pulls away from you and retreats to the spare bedchamber, slamming the door. You're f left feeling a little depressed and dreading what married life will bring. You literally said you would kill poor people, bro! What do you mean you're offended? You hate poor- you would kill poor people! It's fine, I have another bastard child I can put in the fucking line for throne anyway, dude. Your Majesty, there is a horde of hordlings in the sewers beneath the capital. They're the ones who have been stealing our spoons, and not just the king's spoons either, but the whole cities. <laughs> um, 
Use okay. Toxic gas lowest stability. Block off the sewers and leave the holdings down there. I'm gonna veto the one that doesn't lower my stability. Wait, what the fuck am I meant to do? Because there's no way I can I can counter both of these, dude. I either have it lower than five, and I have it at four, and then they. This is bullshit. I guess I should like cater towards purple because they're not even in the second stage of their scheme yet. Why are you guys spending all of my money? We bring an export, export. We fucking kill all of them. A few days later, however, the only thing that the gas has killed are a few unlucky peasants. Oh my god. Dude, my wife is gonna be so happy. I killed the peasants. The hordlings simply revived themselves after the gas is clear, then continue wreaking havoc on the city. They are clearly a lot more resilient. Oh my god. It's fucked. It's all fucked. Everything's fucked. Your Majesty, about the treasures of the late Countess Yolanda. I heard there was a necklace of rubies amongst them. Where is the necklace now? This is the... Uh, this is of utmost importance. I assume Ariana Grande's validity has it. And they'll have no idea of the danger. By the ninth, a frail monk in the 7th century wrote of a ruby necklace that drove those around it to sin. I believe that countless Yolanda had it in her collection after all this time it may have surfa surfaced. Um, that sounds worrying. I'm glad you agree, your majesty. The necklace should be destroyed. It could be tested, but the holy radiance will be expensive. You call the council to discuss the situation. Uh, Grandi Scalidi looks nervous. I. I'm not sure there's no reason to seize this necklace, your highness. Surely the high and inquisitor uh, is mistaken. Okay, what do we do with the necklace? Have the... Hand it over? Ignore the concerns? Or have the necklace tested? Bro, it just makes my stability go up. Everything makes my stability go up. Unless we get the second one and it fails. Huh? But also, do I even want my stability down? Like, people are completing their objective regardless of what way it is. Oh my god. I guess yellow can just vote on whatever they want at this point. Because none of these affect them. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's tied! Break the tie by selecting one of these options? I'm gonna do the gamble. I'm gonna do the gamble. It has a- OH! It failed! Yes! I paid off! 30% chance! Word gets around somehow. As while the rumors spread, the people cling to the church for safety. Some say that necklace has possessed Grandy Scalidi and taken over their soul. Count vegan role model. And the rest of the counts are disgusted with the situation. They openly criticize your judgment. Oh, my stability didn't even go down. Fuck my shit life. Yellow has one military. Oh my god, they're weak. What the hell? But they be farming. They're chilling. These games are not 40 minutes long. It's already been 40 minutes. The prophesied Ninth Herald has finally manifested on Celeste Ass, taking the form of humble noble known as Sophia, who hails from a farming town in the Southern Hills. Also, the Grandies claim. Ha ha, peasants! <laughs> ha ha! Peasants all over the south are flocking to you, Sophia. I knew you could do it. 
Ah! Praise be to the ninth god. Praise be, but this is just the beginning. With him on our side, we will capture the minds of the common folk and lead a holy crusade against the false sing king. The people still need a push, however. With just the right amount of chaos, the peasants will tie up arms and die for you. For the next stage of the scheme, must lower stability to four. Bro, everyone has a fucking stability objective. Two people need me to lower it to four? And one person needs me to keep it above five. Oh wait, never mind. I think uh, purples is about to change right now. Far in the east, Count is hosting a dinner party in this castle with a few. Uh, but our plans are getting are going better than expected. The spymaster thinks this is uh, that all is well in the kingdom. Thanks to our lack of attention, I've made a fortune selling weapons to the Ash Maiden Empire, even though it's forbidden. Yo, yeah. rye bread! Will the real king before please stand up? I repeat, will the real king before please stand up? Play it! Nails! Eminem speaks so fast, what the fuck? Yo, rye bread, they with $200. Things are proceeding better than I ever imagined. Our next step is to replace the palace watch with our own loyal agents. Indeed, the honor guard are incorruptible. 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 The watch are another story. If the king can't pay them, they will look for money elsewhere. For the next stage, the counts must lower the treasury to 1500. Oh, we're chilling. We're chilling. Now we're chilling, dude. I can just keep my stability up and I can keep my treasury up and I'm fucking chilling, dude. I knew I taxed everyone for a reason. Can I have a child? We questioning red, red. Marcus, I've come to ask if I've recently purchased a very rare aid for one of my alchemical studies. A small vial of fucking Tiger and Frankincense. Live and terribly at Spindolite. I was born from Grandy Bobby Up Up. Speak to him about it for me, would ya? I'll look into it. Oh, that's my wife. Sorry. I was just doing RP. You summon Grandy Bobby Hop Hop to the council chambers, chambers the next day. Greetings, your highness. What can I do for you? I hear you have something for my wife. At last, I can't give you the frankincense incense just yet. I was led to believe that the frank the frankincense was used to be holy ceremony as it was regularly down in the south. But recently I've heard disturbing rumors that your wife wants to use it to conduct devilish rituals and experiments not sanctioned by the ninth god. Until I am convinced that this isn't the case, alas, I cannot hand anything over, for fear of invoking the wrath of the ninth god. Um, I'm gonna, I want it for my wife. I'm a wife guy. Give me the frankincense or you'll know the meaning of holy wrath. At least you cannot threaten me, Majesty, the wrath of the ninth god be... You get to the go to the dungeon go to go to jail <laughs> Grandy Bobby Hop Hop begs and pleads for mercy, but he has had his chance a few days in a dark cell is enough to change his mind Valentina receives the frankincense before weeks end. She's almost pleased. She is most pleased with it Meanwhile the other nobles clamor and grumble about the unlawful arrest Bro shut up Wait Bobby Hop Hop went to jail, and then Bobby Hop Hop 2 has joined the council. Why are you guys pissed? I'm a fucking wife guy looking out for my wife. That's fine. You don't want to spawn a little demon into the world? It sounds like you're boring. You'd be fun at a party. Big wife guy, huh? Your Majesty, the richest merchants in the coast have bribed the pelicans to give them an exclusive charter. They now control all trade of glassware and jewelry, the coast's most valuable goods. 
It's a monopoly, your majesty. They're, they're scamming the public by fixing prices, pushing smaller traders like myself out of business. Something must be done. Uh, I thought we were banning monopolies. Sounds like good business. That would make trade go down, stability go up, wealth go up. Demand that the treasury gets a taste of the bribes. Treasury up, stability down. Declare the exclusive charter and null void. Defiance up, money down. Trade up, stability up. I'm confident that... Um, chat, because, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind, two teams want my stability to go down. So if I don't veto this, there's no way it, it lose it doesn't lose. So I think I veto that. And this is actually... Yeah. Because I might as well just keep my stability up now. Oh, A also lowers stability. Okay, you know, I didn't see that one. I thought that made my stability go up. <laughs> ah! I missed it! <laughs> I'm gonna sit here for an hour until the vote's tied, okay guys? I'm not, I'm not even gonna move, I'm not even gonna do anything. I'm sitting here the entire time. I have all day, okay? Yeah, I should have kept both so the votes just ended up being split. That would have been way better. You're right. You're so right. No, just kidding. You guys win. Monopoly sounds like good business. You guys, I'm writing everyone's name down who voted for this and I'm tweeting out that they fucking support monopolies and they hate unions. Everyone just, you know, I'm being silent because I'm I'm going to clip this and I'm going to publish it, okay? I'm just being silent for the clip so the Dex Tarot article can have nothing uh, interrupting the clip. Okay, there we go. Trade is now opulent. Stability is now steady. Pelican's wealth has increased. Well, my stability is still way above five or four. So, like, we're chilling. Clip watches, I hit the wrong one. The quarantine continues. Your Highness, you will recall the quarantine you ordered to deal with the dancing plague. It's been many months since anyone last entered or left the affected area. We think the plague may have run its course. We ask you permission to lift the quarantine. Trade up, defiance down, defiance up, trade down, treasury down. So purple wants the treasury down. Or send Grandi just another kid to see the check that it's safe. No, I think that's good. Check if it's safe. That's smart. I don't want to check. I don't want to hire another adventurer. I need money. Bonox choice. D. Hypothetically, only purple should want C. But we'll see. Hmm, traitors. Milestone traitor. Hmm, <laughs> traitor. You want to screw over Chibli? Vote C. Shh. 
Yeah, purple's getting ratioed because both other teams have the exact same objective. But it's also funny to send him another member of chat into the quarantine zone. Despite just another Kennedy's protest, the King's words is final. He is sent into the quarantine zone. You hope to hit back from him soon. Good luck in there. Good luck. Don't die. Chat, it's shopping time. It's shopping time. Go. And they're off. Bjork fight. Twenty five seconds remaining. What the fuck? I've been in this goddamn auction screen for like half of my stream. The prison is winning and the fortress is winning. Interesting. I guess purple can just hoard their money again. Holy shit, Chibli's rich. Okay, the prison, my stability went, went down and then yellow's military went up. Can I get married yet? Oh, about your hair. Oh no. Your marriage to Velatina has grown stale. Oh, you get along well enough and you've made some good memories together, but there's no spark. He cares more about a stupol a stupol. <laughs> he cares more about a stupid alchemical. <laughs> Experiments in your happiness. <laughs> but this, but spark or no spark. <laughs> Congratulations in order. The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. But something's still missing. You didn't hear. Wait, where did my wife go? You need to, oh, wait. I have a wife. I need a child. You need someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard or the youngest of your many cousins. I plan to adopt a lowborn child from the orphanage just to piss off my wife because I want her to learn to love poor people. The nobles won't be too happy with a lowborn child being elevated to the status of a royal. I urge you to reconsider. You ever read Lepo Lepon Lepona? What the book is called? Lep Lepona? You ever read Lepvonia? Huh? I, this is apparently this is the plot of the whole goddamn book right here. My mind is made up. A risky wager. Hold on to your masks, hat, and other accessories. Everyone count twice. The Lowell is about to lose a lot of money. We bet our life savings on a boat race around the coast, and I am sure to win the day. So sure, in fact, that I have positioned the council to officially sponsor me voyage. What kind of boat will you have? My best enemy is tiny, and that's the point. It'll nip around all these dead reefs. He's talking rubbish! Oh. He's talking rubbish, you grace. My nimble shrug will easily beat the lemon robot's old boat. Oh, my name's not Dice LOL! If you sponsor anyone, sponsor me. Okay, do we want to sponsor lemon? Do we want to sponsor twice? Do we want to sponsor both of them or decline to support anyone? Oh. Oh, I don't want to be poor. That's really important to not be poor. I don't want to be poor. 
Because then purple's getting the goddamn way. No one's in the goddamn winning positions right now. I'm in a good spot. We're chilling. Dang, no one wants to vote for anyone. What the hell? Oh, dude, the green team isn't even voting for the green team. Well, I guess no one's getting my money. No one. <laughs> Which competitor should have the crown officially sponsored? No one. What? Are you really so cheap? Shut up, man. Oh, no. Everyone's getting a little d d angry at me. The counts and the goddamn pelicans are both four. Your August Majesty, I understand you elected not to spon uh, elected not to sponsor the comp competitors, but surely you have a sense that one will outdo the other. Would you fancy a small wager? Oh, I'd love to. Marvelous, then uh, place your bet. Oh, I'm gonna place on um. Hmm. Lemon robot sounded way more convincing. The sponsor neither, but to bet on the result? Perhaps that shows your true opinion. Content I just like gambling, created. dude. Solemn, leave me alone. I like gambling. And think about the 26 months. The Twitch is only for bits. Sorry, but I can do it. Oh, oh, oh. Comments with health. I'm going to bet a thousand goals. You think I gaff? Who's winning? Me. Content created. Himbo Prime. Thank you for the five months. Welcome back. Your Majesty, I've returned. Oh, Kennedy's back from the quarantine zone. I'm going to gaslight Kennedy. Who are you? I'm gr the grandee you sent into the quarantine zone, your highness. I have returned unharmed. The plague has run its course and the people are alive, though I fear they will never dance again. Are you sure they're still not infected? Yes, your holiness. I spent plenty of time with the people there. I saw not a single unwanted bounce or shimmy. Humbly, I asked the council to lift quarantine so the south can return to normal. Uh... Lift the quarantine. Okay. But I'm so tired. Why am I always so tired? I think I'm I I'm a six year old man in a twenty six year old man's body. They did something to me when I was when I was being made in the test tube. They fucked up somewhere. Don't take your iron? Probably. The quarantine's fucking lifted, lads. Did you say you're a six-year-old man? I'm a six-year-old man. The former dancers will never be the same. End season. Sitting on a bench outside a sun-bleached villa, two pelicans of the coast meet their plot meet to plot their latest scheme you hear that the screams the shout of dismay the crackle of the flames no all i hear is the sea lapping around the harbor walls exactly it's terrible the kingdom needs to be in chaos for our plans to work the king's advisors are happy with his rule we can't buy their loyalty yet believe me i've tried the balagans aim to lower stability to four or less Deep in the south, the ground air bases along the balcony of the hillside villa. It's not just enough. The peasants love Sophia and believe the miracles, and they won't rise up and put her on the throne. Oh, take heart, ground team. We're all at the threshold to present the pleasant side they need. One push. If only we could engineer that push. The ground is aimed to lower stability to four or less. Great. So now everyone just wants to lower my fucking... Sh oh, wait. It's the same team that's been wanting to lower it for a while. In the darkness depths of the eastern coast, counter Sigvard... 
has gathered his fellow plotters around him as he's on our list. Some of our bronze have been accepted, but not enough to king is paying the palace watch well enough that their loyalties aren't easily swayed. So we have an average watch in your pocket, is it enough? No, not yet. We can't hang away for doing it. So we might be discovering the cat's same tail over the treasure in for me, hundred or less. I'm not taxing anyone. Common tax. We're all normal pills, okay? I'm not bribing anyone, but I'm not taxing anyone. Easing, easing the tension. Your Majesty, nobles of the council's tensions are running high, but the kingdom itself is stable. Perhaps it's time we forget our past troubles and come together as friends. What do you have in mind? We could exchange gifts or hold a friendly competition, a fashion show perhaps, or a game of riddles. Your Majesty, why don't we hold a vote on a team building exercise to help you and the council trust each other again? Okay, do we want to exchange gifts? Do we want a fashion show? Do we want riddles? Or oh, this is a stupid idea. I want... I'm vetoing the riddles because I'm going to be poor! Guys, gifts are fun. We should all vote for gifts. I love gifts. Oh, we should. We can all get gifts. Yay, gifts. Yay. Wow, fucking yellow and green were really like, oh, we can't get our goal, so let's just fucking piss everyone off. <laughs> let's just make everyone piss the fuck off. Wow, you guys don't want a fashion show? What the hell? You guys said, let's be evil. The nobles of the council's gl glare daggers at you and, the and at each other. Far from easing tensions, uh, the suggestion has only been inflamed. Everyone's fucking pissed, bro! Except the south. The south's rocking with me. Oh god, wait, is this the race? A big whale washed up on the coast, right outside my villa. However, before I could order my servants to harvest his blubber, a finfolk crawled up onto the sand and begged me for an audience with the king. The fuck is a finfolk? A frog-faced, green-skinned man? It's Peepo. Waddles in, his flippers slapping against the marble. Ah! <laughs> That's me! Your Majesty, you must not allow Lord Valakin Justin to kill Team Baby! Team Baby! So wise and gentle, why are you not crying? Why is this so Is this, is, is, in what way is this your way, old friend? You can decide who I'm back to talk to you and I'm gonna be so surprised as we wrap today's milk, milk, how milk. Aww. Please return it to the horse to see what's born. Oh, and hear me out, your ogre's majesty. We could strip down the whale to its component parts and make a fortune. Who cares what these fish-faced fools think? Bro, defiance goes up on everything. I don't want to kill the whale. Return the whale to the fucking weird fish. They need milk, bro. They're thirsty. They live in water? Yeah, the ocean's not made of milk, though. <laughs> milk hits different. I'm gonna be honest, like every six to eight months, I do get a craving for a glass of milk. And then when I drink it, it's like one of the best things ever. Order in the court! We return the whale. Of what species? Cow. By the now ninth, I can't believe this. How could you take the fishmen over your own citizens? 
<laughs> Using a crane and a team of oxen, the great whale is lifted and placed upon wooden rollers without ceremony is plopped back into the ocean where it splashes its tail and sprays water in apparent gratitude. From that point on, coastal fishermen report that their catches have nearly doubled. The grateful finfolk literally herd fish towards their net. See, it fucking worked out. Seven farming? And y'all are still pissed at me? For what reason? We've heard from the boating competition around the coast, your August Majesty. I have a letter from the Lord Pelican Lemon Robot. Oh, please, the one. Excellent. Though we weathered a storm, we found a tiny desert island that wasn't on our maps, where we could rest and shelter. Twice, Al LOL wasn't so lucky. He was blown off course, and I haven't seen him since, the fool. I have called it Lemon Robot's Land and officially claim it for the Pelicans. Excellent. Not only is my friend winning the race, this is wonderful news for the coast. Blood and stars, I had a letter from Twice and LOL saying this was this island first. His claim is just legitimate, if not more. Your esteemed highness, surely you cannot entertain this nonsense. Uh, this uh, cannot be great strategic importance to the coast. Man, I every time I come to this fucking spot, they're always asking me to pick between two people. Um. I will give it to the coast. Is my vote. Guys, you don't need to worry about fucking over purple anyway. I just won in a thousand dollar bet. I'm literally about to make two grand. Green is so powerful. The green voters do really come out in all forces. I'm going to be honest. Purple doesn't care anymore. Our plan is to rebel. I think you're the only one who said that. Purple, is your plan to rebel? Be honest. Oh my god, the coast military is, is strong as hell. No one's going to be up to rebel. I'm too strong. The king is too strong. Y'all wish, bozos. I'm doing the one where people get money because I just fucking... It's like an easy v win of what I want. Doing the doing the thing where anyone who votes on it gets $500. I just pick that constantly and everyone votes for it all the time. Capitalists. Your Majesty, I wish to speak to you about the situation in the East. The Counts have been a matter of suspicion for those of the church. Uh, devil worship and commonplace across the whole religion. Allow me to send some of my best mercenaries to the East. It's for the good of the realm. Um... Yeah, my permission. Authority went up, but what does my stability do? Oh, it succeeded! But... Oh my god, the East Faith is six! Oh my god! I'm rich! Guys, this is perfect! The kingdom is thriving! I'm, I'm rich! Down. Hoover <laughs> raided me! I love Hoover! I would kiss him! I This is awkward, I was gonna raid Hoover! Because I was going to end soon. I mean, Luther, sorry. Luther raided me. Thank you so much, Luther. I mean, we had a good time playing American Truck Sim. Um, interesting enough, the last time I played this, Oxel raided me. And now I'm playing again, Luther raided me. What the hell? I just, it just farms raids. I will qu quickly explain what this is. For the people that want to join. This is a game. Oh my god. Hi, Poopita. Glad to see you. This is a game where uh, I'm the king. I'm the king. And then chat can join. And they it automatically plays into one of these three factions. And they have objectives they have to complete to win. If you want to join, type, type expansion point join space and then your pronouns. And it will put you in. 
There's also an extension, but it's not necessary. See, look, these are all the people. There's a lot of- there's 183 people in this game, which is kind of actually fucking crazy. Um, to quickly go over how you, people try to achieve their objectives. <clears throat> Everyone votes as a democracy on a lot of things and every single outcome affects the treasury, so me, in different ways, or their own kingdom in a different way. Uh, what the per, uh, what the yellow area and the green area are trying to achieve is they're trying to lower my stability to four or less. So they're voting for a lot of things that lower my stability. And what the purple area is trying to achieve is lowering my wealth, my treasury, to less than 1500. But I'm currently rich as fuck, so like that's not going to happen. Your esteemed highness, we had a message from the Lord Pelican Lemon Robot. I was indulging in some grog with the crew one evening and a dibbledoo fell into the water. Obviously, I survived thanks to the group of passing finfolk who dragged me from danger, but they won't return to my won't return me to my boat without payment. Of course, you'll pay the ransom, your esteemed highness, won't you? Oh. Um. Okay, so purple probably wants this. I'm gonna let people make money. If you vote for C, you get $500. Congratulations. I'm doing it, yeah, because I'm. It's my profits. The profit is fine. I'm still gonna have like a lot of money, maybe. I just don't want greens to um defiance to go up. Cause I'm rocking with green. I got no beef, man. The splut- they, uh, the splutter and outrage about favoritism is toward Lord Pelican. Bro, why the fuck does everyone get mad, bro? I save someone's life and we were like, Oh, you're picking a favorite! You're picking a favorite! Lord Lemon Robo is in the lead, pushing ahead as the race nears his end. Oh wait, is the race not finished yet? Oh, the race isn't over yet. <laughs> the race is still going and I'm like, I'll save you so you can win. <clears throat> Your Majesty, hit my plea. The great tragedy of our time has befallen the East. You ran out of capes? A demon hatched from the ground? Worse than that, I fear, an order of once uh, an order of once great knights has fallen into disrespect. It's the order of the fucking shit shield, Your Grace. They were once the greatest of the knightly orders to serve the Count. Uh, their virtues were extolled by bards across the land. Tales that would make a troll weep. But they have been rolled They're working as glorified bounty hunters from the south. This is a stain on the honor of the east. Not since our military has suffered some setbacks recently, so we hired custom security to keep an order for a pity pinna, I might add. Uh, has been solving the problems we wanted solved and kicking the buttocks that we want kicked. Blood and stars! Uh, how has it come to this? These are knights, not mercenaries, and they need reminding of a little thing called chivalry. Please, your grace, I beg the council to be reasonable. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit, good green and yellow are turning out. Dude, the lemon robot better win the fucking race, otherwise I'm gonna get owned. Dude, we Pokemon win to the polls in this chat. What the hell?
Recall the order and restore its uh, fucking whatever shit. Okay, yellow's pissed at me. Yellow, this is poor is. Oh, my stability got out! Ah! Bubble, you have to help me. Along with some other faces that the king might recognize. Greetings, Lady Pelican. I'd like to introduce some friends of mine. Good afternoon, noble pelicans. It's a pleasure as always. Hello, is this the place? Oh, smells like fish. Whoa, I don't think you've found it. My colleague, the argument is praise. And Lady Pelican, blue, uh, blue ruby red, made some excellent points about the king's incompetence. The most persuasive part was the giant bag of gold. Unfortunately, the spy master and the uh, store remained beyond our grasp, but with these two in our pocket, we can do great things. We decide our approach. Okay, uh, green team. Do you want to lower the treasury or do you want to raise others defiance? What do you want your next goal to be? Mm -hmm. It is crazy that there's 222 people in here. I feel like there's way more people than we had last time. What the hell? Also guys, I hope Luther was doing well. Was Luther well behaved today? Purple Green Alliance? You guys are evil. No, it's been yellow and green this entire time. He was mean? Or well, maybe you never know what's happening behind closed doors, guys. Like maybe he's maybe he's uh, maybe it's okay he was a little bit mean. Like maybe he's got a lot going on. You know? Don't worry, I'll take it from there. For the final stage of the scheme, the Pelicans must lower the treasure to a thousand or less. The south swells with a sudden influx of devotees from across the kingdom. They come to see the Ninth's Herald Sophia in action. In the picturesque town of Cullerville, the Grandee's Holy Clement delivers a speech to fucking rauchous applause. If our army was strong enough, we could take the palace by force. A crusade? That sounds promising. Though I suggest we leave it to the Ninth God. Surely he will intervene on Sophia's behalf. Do you guys want to raise your own faith or raise your own military? Wait, who asked what, what team they're in? I can look. Bra Funkle? Bra Funkle, you're on the green team. Pray for a miracle. Raise own faith. Your faith is currently five, so it's pretty good. Man, I really fucked up making every like just letting everyone become like strong and powerful. You guys need seven faith. So two teams are trying to make me poor, and one team is trying to praise God. Wow, well, well, Gary. Where is my child? Oh, right here. Your quest for an heir is kind of complete. You stand before the council holding a small child in your arms. Should I die? I ask that my crown be passed down to... My adopted lowborn daughter. The silence continues, except the little stifled coughs after the awkward pause is stretched over to be murdered. There's finally a sporadic applause. The nobles don't appreciate you including a lowborn child into the royal family, but whether they like it or not, by uh I ah, everyone's pissed off at me again. What's her name? Oh, I'm gonna give her a shit name. Your Highness, may I be first to congratulate you on adopting an heir? What's her name? Oh, I have to name my daughter Marcus too? It won't let me change. My daughter is Marcus too? Marcus too. <laughs> I'm sure little Marcus too will grow up to be a chip off the old block. 
Now you need to fulfill your ambition to win the game. Expect a visit from the Spy Master soon. The end is near. Marcus 2! Such a cute name! The coastal boat race is nearly at a close. I'm pleased to announce that Lord Pelican Robot is all set to win, just as the king expected. Marvelous. How exciting! This is uh, this race is of most importance. <gasps> Milestone! Or completely unrelated note, I have a shipment of grain that is due to intercept the races any day now. If my ship got in the way, who knows what will happen? I desire the races of the accord. I could be convinced to alter the shipment's route instead. Dude, Milestone, why are you trying to betray me? You literally don't want me to be poor. What the hell? We let's put a stop to this shameless attempt to sabotage the race. Um. Okay, it's four thousand dollars. I don't have that. Have the pelicans pay for the ship to obstruct Count Twice LOL's path, or have the counts pay for the ship? Oh my god. No, this sucks. There is no good outcome for me. Milestone, why did you do this? Okay. Guys, do you want money? Guys? Do you want a lot of money? You'll get $500 if you vote B. You get $500 if you vote B. You guys get $500. You guys get $500 if you vote B. You get $500. $500 if you vote B. You guys get $500 each if you vote B. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But hurry up and end, please. Vote end, 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 end. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, purple and green could have just ruined my life. What the C option was to literally make me pay five thousand month dollars, bro. Milestone's lumbering ship makes it slow way in front of twice LOS boat, blocking the way to the finish line. The grain makes its way to the uh, this is schedule. Soon nobles and peasants alike gather at the finish line, watching breath breathlessly as the winner arrives. And it's Lord Pelican Lemon Robot. No one can beat a pelican in a boat race. Now pay up twice, lol. Damn it, I can't even stand to look at fish anymore. And I don't want to know what happened to my sea legs. Oh my god, twice went from 4.5k to zero dollars. Oh my god, Lemon Robot went from $4,000 to $8,000. I'm never setting foot in a boat again. Yes, I have $4,000, I'm rich. The coast's trade is now a monopoly. A lot of money in these lands, huh? We are praying for the order of the shield to protect our land, but Count mm, decided he wanted the knights to go back to writing love poetry and picking flowers. Now crime is exploding in the south and there's no one to keep order. That's your problem. People have been visiting my land from across the kingdom to learn about knightly virtuals and court etiquette for a fee, of course. By the ninth, your outdated notions about chivalry are irrelevant in the modern age. Actually, they're more relevant than ever. We can all do with a little romance in our lives. In fact, I should come to the capital and spread the word. What do you say, Uranus? Um... Uh... Uh...
invite court to spread his ideas in the capital or send Count McFletcherson to help the Grundies overcome their problems? I'm surprised B is winning. What the hell? The interest. Didn't count McFlexerson to help the Grandies overcome their problems. A lot of military? Yeah, but it's a 60% chance if it's gonna work. Oh, and it succeeded, you motherfuckers. We know the southern peasants enjoy hearing nostalgic tales. Guys, I don't think you're gonna be able to rebel. Like, I'm too strong. I myself are too strong. Okay, guys, it's shopping time. It is shopping time. Pokemon, go to the balls. Have fun with all of the money I gave you. Do you guys like this game? Do you guys like me? Do you guys like me? Do you guys hate me? Oh, you guys hate me. Oh, oh, no, bitch. Oh, you called me a bitch. Oh, oh, Bernstein. <clears throat> what got brought? Lemon Robot is so rich. Okay. The purple gets their military increased for no reason because they can't do absolutely anything with it because they're never going to be able to rebel. And the yellow got a cathedral to raise their faith, which is actually very good for them. Defiance is too high. One or more of the regions are considering Don't rebellion. Cry, Chibli. Here's some aluminium foil to play with. Yo, right, Brad? Thank you for the three hundred dollars. Why do you guys want to rebel so bad? Like, what even is your fucking problem? Nothing even happened. Oh, your defiance just went down, motherfuckers! Get out! Get out! It just went down. Get fucking out! Get out! Dude, fucking L on the head, Fortnite dance, grabbing my belt. Oh, oh, who's the fucking loser? You're the fucking loser. I'm not the loser. Fuck you. <laughs> You're well on your way of achieving that goal. The peasants are thriving and wealth fed and they think of you fondly. Well done, your majesty. But to shut down your noble scheming for good, we need to build on that reputation. Your advisors have some ideas. Oh, is seven still enough? Fuck, seven's enough? The common folk are a sleeping giant that even the nobles are afraid to wake. If you become beloved by the peasants, the nobles won't dare overthrow you for the fair revolution. Or you could declare war on the Ash Weed and Empire. The nobles will forget their schemes if you win. Stability and farming. I'll begin recruiting town cries to shout about your achievements to the masses, but first need some actual achievements. Your priority is to raise the kingdom's stability and farming as much as you can, and of course, there won't be an opium rebellion among the nobles. Oh god, you guys are gonna rebel, huh? Your Majesty, I simply can't stand it any longer. I need you to do something. Uh, who peed in your porridge this morning? No, what, what's the matter? I have filthy presents scrambling all over my newly built cathedral, tap tapping the walls, bothering the priests. They heard legends of buried treasure beneath the site. Total nonsense, of course. I needed to help keep these greedy treasure grabbers off my land. 
Actually, the rumors might not be nonsense. After conquering the south, King Arur is great is to have said to bury this huge stash of solemn loot, uh, I mean spoils of war in this area. Uh, what are you suggesting? We could search for the treasure ourselves, send a team of uh, diggers there to take place brick by brick and- okay. By the ninth, what are you saying that would destroy the whole place? Um... Um... I think we take the building apart in the search of treasure. It makes them a little angry, but it lowers their faith. Okay. Green, you've just... Green, I have no idea what you're doing, Green. Green, you're trying... Green, what are you doing? <laughs> Green, what are you doing? I've minded it. Bring the money down? I mean, I don't think there is any way you're getting me to less than a thousand dollars. Well, that's that then. That's that then. Red hot chilies. Red hot chili peppers. Three, two, one, bite. Two nobles dangling bright red chili peppers over their tongues, true ferociously, and their respective uh, their respective vegetables. Ah! Gah! <laughs> I can't take it anymore. As Lady Pelican smells snug, spits out her chili, the council hall erupts into cheers. What are y'all doing? Y'all are literally just sitting here gambling, eating chilies? Snell Snugs loses money and Plumpy, Plumpy PJY makes money. Y'all are doing the Ghost Pepper Challenge? Let me try. Of course, Your Highness, we compete in the in we compete in growing, but also eating the pippers. As the winner of the last round, I'd be honored to face you. Bite the pepper. You bite harder than the pepper, but the spice is immediately overwhelming. Dude, why does it make my authority go down? I'm chill as fuck, bro. Oh, and I lost money. I forgot it was a gamble. Your Majesty, perhaps you'd like to sponsor my growing contest? I'm looking for the hottest chili, chili in the land. The winner will receive a hefty cash prize. Or you could sponsor the Pelicans with the treasury support. We'd be sure to win. Can y'all stop ga- Everyone in this fucking land is just addicted Content to gambling created. and shit. Yo, real Paul Giamatti. Thank you so much for the six months. Thank you. Welcome back. I don't want to sponsor anyone. Okay? Bow out of the contest and see where it goes. I'm okay with either of these. <clears throat> if only I won that chili eating contest, though. Hmm. A lovely glass of water with a little bit of mold. The treasury now is $2,300. I think I'm still chilling. Yeah, I, as long as I'm not under $1,500. And even if I get under $1,500, it's fine, because the counts aren't even in the last stage of their scheme. I think it's okay, honestly. Lord Patrician's Lemon... Oh, wait. Oh my god! Lemon Robot has $11,000. Holy shit. Pay 
Peppers of the future has resumed. Eastern counts start adding chili to their lamb's blood wine, while the publican's new crab and chili omelette takes the coast by storm. Okay, I can't tax the counts. <clears throat> Which is awkward. I think yet again, I'm just going to tax no one in an aggressive way. Okay, the counts have rebelled for some fucking reason. I think they just did that because they're bored. Who is in this team, huh? I think they've literally done this out of boredom. They had no reason to do this. They could have achieved their goals easily, but they got bored and they decided to be evil. They decided to be evil people. Deep in the- Okay, you, yeah, you guys are actually doing really bad in your goal. I guess that makes a lot of sense. The yellows aren't about to win. I'm about to win. Deep in the moorlands, a group of rebel counts have gathered to discuss the civil war. With them are their spies, a cluster of nondescript eastern citizens in ordinary clothes. Greetings, I trust you're as safe as can be in these troubled times. Blood and stars are mostly troubled by the thought of King Marcus remaining on that throne. That's precisely why I invited you here. We know the pelicans are in the king's pocket, but are there peasants? Lord Pelican, it's Kesu has amassed vast wealth even in this time of conflict. I doubt it's shared with the ordinary people of the coast. Our spy should th spread the word. We'll be kinder to the peasants than Lord Pelican Keso and his corrupt compatriots. How delightful. Let us decide how to proceed. Promise riches to those who move or enlist from the coast. Set aside bountiful farmland on the coast. Oh, well, you guys can read it. You guys have to vote, by the way. Like, right now. There we go. Give a huge amount of actual money to Eastern Army recruits. That's good. You guys do have a very strong military. Which is kind of scary. Some Count's wealth have decreased. Oh, I shouldn't have given you all money. Your military is now nine. Oh no. That is so scary. Opening strike. It's been a long time coming. Over 300 years ago, the East was uh, conquered. But before that, we were our own rulers with a lineage of monarchs stretching back thousands of years. The glorious days. Indeed, and that's why we must rise up. By placing Kazakh on the throne, we will reclaim what we have lost. But first, we must decide on tactics, my fellow counts. I asked you, how should we first strike? We can launch a preemptive strike against the Pelicans to the cripple their military capabilities. If we suspect the Pelicans may join our cause, we can call them to war. They'll be most likely to join us if the king's authority is low. We could also call upon the church to condemn the king, for, or finally, you can send off assassins to nip this in the bud. It's kind of awkward for both of them because they're like both very close to winning. So. And I guess purple hates the Pelicans and also wants to kill them. <laughs> well, that's good because it just means I get to secure an ally in this war. Because you guys are just starting a war with another team. You know, that means I get an ally. Thanks, guys. Flashing and burning their way across. Oh, you're burning the farmlands, you pieces of shit! That's right, it's still eight. Rebels gain a victory point. Oh, God, that's not good. How delightful. Light, delightful. Down with the king. The eastern soldiers return home in triumph, leaving the coast devastated in their wake. Evil. You guys are evil. You guys are evil. Of course you'd be on the evil team. You're all evil. At long last, the Counts have reached their boiling point. You are confronted in your throne room by Count of Se Sesmore. His smile is sharp as a scalpel. The Counts of the East will bring you down. Pretended to the throne. We will rise up and fight for Kazakh, the true king. 
This is a formal declaration of war. The next time we see each other will be on the battlefield. One day I will see, see your head on a spike. I didn't expect them to move so boldly, your majesty. How did things get this bad? What are our chances against the rebels? Everyone in the palace who understands the situation has wet themselves. How did things get this bad? The leader of the rebellion is Count Vegan Role Model. As a reason for the, uh, as reason for the uprising, they're citing your past transgressions, mainly your flip ant arrest a noble who was selling r too many words. Is it too late to apologize? So this is it, civil war? There'll be a lot of death and suffering before this is all over. I can't wait. I'll go dig out the trebuchets. Um. Uh. I'm good. Okay, you guys have one victory point. So far. Let's let's look at a sickness spreads first. Is the fucking dancing plague is back? A terrible sickness is spreading among my troops in the uh, south. My head Bro, it just fucking keeps small getting worse. And big at the, same time. the fuck? What was that sound? What the fuck was that? What was that? Hang on. I'm going back in the VOD. That was scary. Uh, so far? Let's let's look at as sickness spreads first. Is the fucking dancing plague is back? A terrible sickness is spreading among my troops in the uh, south. My head Bro, it's just fucking keeps getting small and big at the same time. <laughs> there was someone else speaking in that. Whatever. What kind of sickness? A lot of digging, a lot of and a lot of graves. What can we do about it? If we let the disease run its course, we'll have a lot- a, a loss of a lot of soldiers. We can't afford to lose, but I'm not sure how much we can do. Perhaps the council can see a way forward? Um... Send medical doctors... Hire a wizard... Quarantine the disease... And order the healthy- the healthy to leave them behind, or do nothing. Oh, it's a vote by everyone. I mean, all of these choices are pretty good. Um, I... I'm sending money. I'm sending money, I think. Hire a wizard. Oh, POTUS! Dude, Biden voted on god dang do nothing and stop this- uh, do nothing to stop the spreading of the disease. Checks out. No, yeah, purple is uh... Oh, well, purple only completed one of their objectives, which was unfortunate. I think rebelling was smart. Because you have to, like, beat all three of them. I don't know if green's gonna win. They have to give me to under a thousand. Unless I spend a lot of money on war. Of course, gathering ingredients to treat a whole army doesn't come cheap. At, ex at great expense, you send the best doctors of university out to the south to cure the troops. Hopefully they're worth the money. Guys, remember what I did for you. Guys, green... 
Oh, uh, the doctors get to work with their leeches and bizarre contractors. Some of the soldiers even benefit from the treatment, but it quickly becomes clear that doctors are fighting a losing battle, especially after they also catch the sickness. Well, the rebels get another fucking winning point, and Yellow's military is pathetic. Your Majesty, as the Counts were marching through the south, they were hit by a fierce sandstorm. Unable to progress through the mud, they've set up camp beside the river. So they're sitting ducks? We must strike! Don't be foolish, Marshal. Do you think our own troops are immune to the weather? We have the same problems. If I suggest another option, Your Majesty, the Counts are drawing all their water from the river. If we were to poison it upstream, the troops would suffer greatly. That's a dishonorable way to conduct war, Your Holiness. You cannot be seriously considering this. It's a great plan. How do you expect us to poison a whole river? The dead diseased bodies! The dead diseased bodies! If we herd all the cattle in the south onto the river up, uh, upstream and allow all their effluence to flow freely into the river... Oh, they're gonna poop! The water will be contaminated. They're gonna poop in it. What the hell? I've almost been live for six hours again? Ninth above, you are devious. I do not feel comfortable with this, your majesty. I'll need council approval before I proceed. Dude. Poop. 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 If you get vote poop, you make money. If you vote poop, you get $500, by the way. A vote for poop is a vote for freedom, okay? We're a shit-fueled economy. Mm, 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 mm. Please, there's seventy percent bit of land though. Please let the farming go up. Fifty-nine nobles voted for poisoning the river. By the night, this is not war, this is something worth. I'll have no such- Ugh, fuck, grow up. You won't regret this, your majesty. Leave everything to me. Does the motherfucker mad about us poisoning them not realize that they have one military and the counts have nine military? Like, they need to take everything- Farming challenge failed! Why?! Why the fuck does everything fail, bro? It almost worked, your majesty. Almost isn't good enough. Next time, show. Bro, why the fuck does literally nothing work? This is so rigged. Vast armies darken the landscape like shadows of clouds. Flags are flying, drums are pounding in rhythm with the marching of boots. The kingdom is grippled with civil war. At least that's what you imagine. Most of your time is spent safety of Apollos, pointing over a giant map with your marshal. Your Majesty, the Army of the East is advancing on the capital, led by treacherous Kua Count Vegan Role Model. I received word from the commander of our loyalist forces in the south. If they march now, they'll intercept the Counts in a matter of days. Alternatively, the war... No, they could join forces with the Army of the Coast. It's risky, but together they have a, chance, a higher chance of defeating the Counts. What are your orders? Uh, they should join. They should join forces. They're both not even as strong as the Count's military together. Hopefully they'll do what they're told. God knows. Treachery can thrive on a battlefield. We have our orders, but should we follow them? Okay, Yellow, do you want to follow my orders? Do you want to link up with the Pelicans? Do you want to hang back and let the Rebels march on the capital without challenge? Or do fire orders and send the Southern to fight the Rebels? Content creator. Yo, Zenstead. I keep on subbing to Chibbly on Twitch. Thank you for the 35 months. Follow orders. You guys are linking up. The whole city holds its breath. You stew in your palace waiting for your marshal's return. 
Finally, Sheriff arrives at your throne looking perfectly composed. Your Majesty, as you have ordered, the Grandis have turned their army around to link up with the Pelican. We can only hope this is the right decision. Have some confidence, Your Majesty. Too late for doubts now. We'll come down to the next battle, Your Majesty. The fate of the kingdom hangs in the balance. And my fate, too. Over the next few weeks, it becomes clear the Southern's army retreat has given the Counts free reign to pillage and plunder the South. The rampaging Eastern troops descend on farms like locusts, taking everything or fuck you. Meanwhile, shop is fuck you, fuck off, fuck you, I don't care, fuck you. The Counts are too OP. Look at their stats, bro! Wait, the Southern forces successfully link with the uh, Belligan. Now the joint army of the Grandis of Hungans rush to meet the Counts in open warfare and the winner will end your reign or preserve it. Where the fuck is Marcus 2 in all of this? Marcus 2, hurry up! Do fucking grow up! They only have two victory points, but we have zero. I don't know how these games are meant to be 40 minutes long. I'm like, I know I'm spending some time like reading shit out and like fucking like stalling Andy. But I don't know how this shit is, meant, is like 40 minutes long. Captured loyalist. Good news, ye hawing in my latest sortie. I captured a key leader of the loyalist forces. A scourge on you, doot doot 6969, you spineless rash, release me at once. Someone gag our guest. <laughs> I'm tired of listening to her with withering. Well, that's better, now we can hear ourselves think. So ye hawing, what should we do? Hey, purple team, are you going to execute her and send her ahead to the king? Extract key information, free her as a show of mercy, or demand a hefty ransom? Ugh. Ugh. You guys are going for the 60% gamble. Cowards, you guys should have cut her head off. That would have been way cooler. That would have been way fucking cooler. Where is your honor, you dogs? I'm a prisoner and I'm a noble. Lady Patricia and Shady Commissioner is dragged away and handed over to an expert, expert interrogator who asks very pointed questions. Before... Why the fuck do you guys get every single fucking gamble? You literally hit everything. It's fucking bullshit. It's absolutely bullshit. It's so stupid. This game is just fucking RNG. Literally every single fucking thing is just coming down to RNG. In the gardens of the royal policy, a marshal rushes up to you in excitement. Noble Pelican Pixel Crunch follows her dragging a large trunk behind them. Your Majesty, Pixel Crunch has um, developed something for the war effort. You have to see it. Yes, greetings, Your Serene Highness. An alchemist from my estate has been working on this for some time. They start unpacking the trunk. The trunk. Trunk. Oh, that word is trunk. Revealing complicated and foul-smelling machinery that looks like a large set of very large bagpipes. Tell me what it does. It creates fire. Oh my god, we're gonna burn them. It can spray flames right across the room. We're gonna burn them all. But no one use it inside, not unless you want to burn down with the inside. We're gonna win because we're gonna get we have fucking napalm. Um Fancy a demonstration. Alright, but be careful. I'm gonna about to die. I'm about to get killed. They pour, they pour a smoking chemical into a sprout, then pull a lever, then twist it out, and then fire steams straight from the pipe, sprays all across the garden, singeing the leaves on a nearby bush. Bravo, bravo! A few of those things in the industry could turn to tiny rebellion. I bet the queen has to get out of project too. She knows all about these nuts and works. Okay. Um. Um. Oh, this sucks! We can't even do- we can't even afford it! Should we just pay for the equipment but don't worry about the alchemists? <laughs> I 
I think that is the best option. It's a 45% roll against the 29. Or maybe we'll get like a crazy RNG swing on D. Maybe crop science goes crazy. Pay and green wins. I can't even afford it. I'm broke. I'm broke. You're gonna die? I do think literally everyone is gonna fucking die because they're using a goddamn flamethrower with no knowledge. Can't we just give it to you? It's a 20% roll if I was asked to hand it over. Okay, did it succeed? Military's capable. Carrying the infernal machines on their shoulders. Oh my god, I'm poor. Ah! Is green just gonna fucking win again? Why don't I get to win? Dude, there's actually no way that that purple... I, I don't think there is any way that purple loses this fight, though. Voting is open. Okay, Pelicans, do you want to send the joint forces of Pelicans and Grandis to fight the rebels or hang back and let the Counts march onto the capital without challenge? You have a 90% success uh, chance on the first one, which is kind of crazy, actually. I don't know how you got that. Why is it 90? I don't know. If green wins again, I'm deleting the save and never playing it again. Well, that would be a very... Oh, they succeeded. When she finally returns, she's starting to throw in with a triumphant gleam in her eyes. What happened? We call the counts by surprise as they were fording a river. Classic pincer movement. The pelicans attack from one side and the Grandis ch charge in fr the other. You just seen it. The river ran red that day. Okay. We oh my god. We're gonna win. Oh, purple's gonna die. Wait. I feel bad for purple, bro. Their military is so strong. We won? Unless something totally unexpected happened. That moment... A frantic soldier bursts in. Your Majesty, we received word from our scouts. I don't know how to say this. Spit it out, damn you. The Counts must have split their forces. The army we defeated was a diversion. They've got another regiment making its way through the Crownlands. They'll be outside the capital in a matter of the days, and the Pelicans are far too away to help. What do we do? Uh, prepare for siege! We've got a lot of work to do. Build up the capital's fortifications, stop our food, trade up citizens' militia. But don't you worry, your majesty. This is the last ditch ploy of defeated enemy. We'll outlast the siege and the Vulcans will come to our rescue. This is exactly what happened last time. It's buying time! What are you buying, everyone? We have a monument for up authority, a theater for down authority, a cathedral for up faith for yellow, a fortress for up military for yellow, a library for up stability green, or a thieves guild for down trade green. Purple and, and green are very rich, but maybe green and yellow could work together, I don't know. There's like an unannounced truce between them. Well, I guess it's pretty announced. They literally teamed up. Meanwhile, I just want to fucking make money so I can win the game. I don't really care about y'all. Y'all mean nothing to all of me. Time is up. What got brought? I wasn't looking. The cathedral for faith up? Ooh, wait, scary. 
and the theater for authority down so green one of the richest factions just didn't buy anything <laughs> disappointed green lemon literally had 12k we don't need anything i mean military maybe i don't know oh wait oh no i don't get to raise the taxes money's all gone you majesty what nothing left i'm afraid the treasury is as empty as a biggest purse right now i thought we had 800 gold What are we gonna do? Nothing we can do, really. For the first time, you notice the treasurer is wearing far finer clothing than the last time we saw it. Is that a new diamond necklace? The money's been missing for a long time. We've been paying everyone in credit for the last few months. Most of your soldiers have quit, which doesn't bode well for fighting off the rebels, does it? Someone's paid you off. Lady Pollock at Blue Ruby Red offered me a very generous fee in exchange. I had to transfer gold from the treasure to her vault. In any case, good luck arresting me for it. The police watch have all quit. You're on your own. I'm gonna fucking kill myself, someone else. She turns on her heel and exits the throne room, leaving totally alone for the first time. Starts to you. Where are your servants, your police watch? Your southern nun, battle nuns, are a comforting presence. Your watch may have abandoned their post, but they still they're still with you. There you are, my dear. Quick, we must be going. Something's up. What should we do? We need to saddle our horses. My folks back in the east will look after us. When you reach the stables, however, your marshal is waiting for you. Oh, there you are, your highness. Come with me. Your marshal speaks to you in a commanding tone of a, of a woman flanked by dozens of crossbowmen, which is, in fact, the case. Who are all these people with crossbows? They are my soldiers, your highness, and they will shoot you if you don't do exactly what I say. No, I won't let you take Marcus. Someone tie her up, Covendale, your majesty, we have business to attend to. Your southern battle nuns silently line themselves up between you and the marshal's crossbows. The scimitar's drawn, but it does you no good. Their lives are ended in a hail of crossbow bolts. With hands tied behind your back, your frog marched out of the palace and into the city's main square, confronted with the sight of Lady Pelican Blue Regret standing on a stage in front of a huge crowd. And there he is, come over here, your supreme majesty. With a triumph as well, she snatches the crowd from your head. This is treason. Ladies and gentlemen, one and all, welcome to the loyal auction. Up today, it's up for sale today. We have a very exciting item, the kingdom itself. For the first time, you recognize some of the faces in front of the crowd. They're rivals to the throne. Even the council here, Lady Pollock and Blueberry Red, arranged for the city gates to be open for the besiegers outside. Who wishes to open the bidding? 30,000 from Sophia? Where did y'all get this money? Huh? Where did you guys get 50,000 fucking dollars? Huh? The crowd goes quiet in anticipation. Going once, going twice. 100,000 from Marcus. Bro, that's my name. Sold to the noble Marcus. You watch an object horror as your crown is handed over to Marcus, who dons it with a uh, great ceremony amid the cheers from the crowd. One million thousand. Someone take care of this fool. Your marshal watches stone faces as crossbowmen line up against the wall. Line you up against the wall? Ask for a pipe to smoke. The marshal nods and a tobacco pipe is placed in your mouth at the same time as the blindfold is wrapped around your eyes. You brace yourself. When the crossbow bolt nails you to the wall, you're coughing up a storm. Turns out the last few seconds of your life were a terrible time to take up smoking. Green just wins again? This game is bullshit!